Alrighty then, so it's now two days later. This stuff's still wet, but it's drying pretty good. The sea tall. So I've decided that I want to take the colors off the veins and the and the leaves. I want to make them natural wood color. So what I'm going to do with that is uh, let's just get straight to the point here. I got this Dewalt grinder and a Mampa cutter. I'm just going to cut little little. I'm just going to give them some texture, and that way I can remove the colors. You know, because if I was going to use my cut saw disc or my uh, or a sanding disc like this. It would plug up, right? It would, it would gum up. So I'm just going to use the Mampa cutter. I might try the sanding disc on the pedals. If I got to burn through a couple sanding discs, no big deal. So also, I'm chatting with Just Carb Rob on Facebook. This piece is going to be our tabletop here. So that's what I'm doing today. Okay, so that's just like five minutes. You can see it's kind of got some texture in there. And I'll hit it with the torch after. You know, you guys, if you aren't happy with your pieces, change it. You know what I mean? Change, do what you got to do to change it. I'll set up the camera and show you how this uh, Mampa tool works in a, when I get to an easier spot, maybe uh, on this side. But anyways, I'm just going to keep at it. Okay, so that only took me about half an hour. And uh, I'm a lot happier. Okay, so now I'm gonna hit it with the torch. But you guys, I'm not a preacher here, but you gotta remember, just in case you do something like this and whatever, this stuff was oil, right? Oil-based uh, CTOL. So I got my fire extinguisher handy if in case something uh, catches fire. I'm just gonna hit them quickly. Just to get rid of the fuzzies, that's all. See them burning away there? Alrighty then, so I just burnt it a bit. I hit it with the flap sander, the Sando Flex. And uh, what's the word? Bob's your uncle, I guess. So now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get this tabletop piece over there onto here. Okay, so you can see here I got it set on there. Looks good to me. There's a gap right there, I don't care. It kind of fits in place. It's not perfectly here. I'm no fitter. But anyways, now I'm gonna clean the top of this off, make it flat, and uh, burn the hell out of it. Burn the hell out of the edges. Okay, so I got uh, the timber, I put timber bolts all the way down in there, like I pre-spade drilled these holes so I can get a good sink in there. I made these uh, plugs, I'll epoxy these in, bash them in with a hammer, let them sit, cut them off. Yeah, you're going to see a little bit of color difference between the two things, who cares. I also put a timber bolt through here, so it goes this way, then I made a plug for that too. So now I'll mix up some epoxy, bang these bits in, and cut them off. It's getting there. It's almost done. Okay, so I got, I'm letting the epoxy dry and the plugs. I got the chair leaned over because for when I transport it, I don't want to take it apart, okay? So I screwed this board up on the bottom of it so I could pull it back in the dolly. This chair is a lot more manageable now than when it was just the, that log. That log, man, it was like, I don't know, it just seems so heavy. 
but it really doesn't seem that heavy anymore. I don't know. Alrighty then. So I put a board across the top too. The face of it, screwed it on so for transport. I got all these things set up. This one's got a little gap in it. Who cares? This one sticks out a bit. Who cares? This sucker's solid. Anyways, so I think it's time to, uh, I think I'm going to brush her. I don't know how I'm going to get the um, C-Toll on here. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to wheel it outside. So let's see if this thing comes outside with a dolly. This sucker. Okay, so I got it outside for transport, no problem. Let's get a get a let's get a look at this thing. Uh, I'd say it's like five feet wide. Let's get a look at this thing in the sun for the first time ever. There's a couple little marks that I hit with my uh, gouger thing, nah, but who cares? Now you see the green on the shamrocks come out. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, so now I got to figure out how I want to, uh, I might, it's windy out here today, I might hook up the gun again and hit it with the gun, and uh, maybe I'm better taking it back inside, doing it inside with the gun, than bringing it outside and let it dry it naturally in the sun. Okay, so it's all sprayed up. Now let's get it back outside to dry out in the sun. It's warmer out there. This guy's got two different size eyes. Oh well. So myself, I'm happy I took those colors off. It's more uh, natural. Hi Claire, hi Matt. I agree with you guys. But you don't know if you don't try. That's that's the bottom line. Hello. Hello. So this you can see this uh this stuff um this uh Cetol doesn't have a shiny finish. It's got a little bit of a gloss, not much. It's kind of like a flat gloss. I just sprayed this so it's a little bit shiny. Okay, but the sun's helping it uh, dry quick, a lot quicker. I'm a lot happier. I um, I did that. And thanks for all the suggestions in the um, in the uh, comments, everybody. Uh, but I just these color the colors didn't work for me and they were driving me nuts. I don't know if you're going to be able to see here. No, something that's driving me nuts. What's really driving me nuts is, well, he's got this table here, okay? But now this is in the way of getting to his table so he can put stuff there. You know, he could put his breakfast here, breakfast plate here, right? Then this is in the way now. So, ah, uh, I'm gonna give this a couple days to dry, all right? And then like a couple good days to dry. And then I'm gonna come along and then I'm gonna cut it right here. Cut this piece out so he's got, uh, a table there, right? Now 
Now I'm super happy that I that I I could put way more flower uh, details in the flowers and stuff like that, but good enough. It's a friggin' 2,000 year old Irish throne chair. All they had was chisels and hammers. They probably had to carve this up with rocks. But anyway, so there it is, guys. Um, I do want to come back in a couple days and try to carve another owl similar to this, see if I can do it without Ryan or Kevin's help. Um, I will be taking this to my brother too. He can have it, put it somewhere. And uh, that's it. So I hope you all get it and thanks for the comments and I love to read the comments and um, what do you think? Do you think it's better without the colors? The sunflower is still yellow. Think it's better without the colors or with the colors? What's this? What is this? Somebody dropped off a 500i for me. 